And we're back here in Ten Pines Bluff. I'm here to report the success of their mission to the settlers here. The raiders at Corvega won't be troubling them anymore. It actually took quite a bit of time before we could return. Not because it was difficult to get back here, not really. I mean, we've killed everything on the way to and from this place. But I actually spent a couple of days just carting off anything that wasn't nailed down in Corvega back home. I mean, I don't expect these people to give us any monetary reward. So we should get our own reward. Looks like the crops are... Hmm, alright. That sounds bad. Um, hello? Did you find those raiders? Yes, actually. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Alright, that's actually good. So I guess this place is part of the Minutemen Coalition. The hell? Alright, um... You know what? We have our new toy from Mr. Jared over at Corvega. All right, um, that does not sound nice, and I don't actually know where it's coming from. Anyway, um, maybe I should just head back home. I mean, I'm sure Preston will be overjoyed to know that the Minutemen have some new members. Alright. Alright. It's died down. Maybe literally. <laughs> Alright. Let's just be careful. I don't want to meet those big green Bigfoots. Let's just be careful. I think I'll keep my gun out. Um, so, if we're going to head back to Sanctuary, we should go that way, I guess. So, I was actually thinking about Carvega and Jared, the leader of the gang. I mean, the man was clearly a psycho, a homicidal maniac, and as he described himself, a monster. But if you're going to become the leader of a gang, you have to have some sense in you. And apparently, he thought that Mama Murphy is the real deal. Is in. Oh, 
Whoa. Oh my gosh. Now this is a big airplane. Airliner, actually. Uh-oh. Alright. That's a ghoul. I forgot we don't have a suppressor for this gun. Oops. Oh, shit. Sometimes I really miss wearing really good armor. All right, let's have some. Hmm. All right, that should fix us up for now. Oh, really? All right. I'm actually feeling a bit like a ghoul myself going through this wreckage, but it's all about survival. I have to find if there's anything useful here. Um, can we get up there? Oh. Um, there! Ha! Alright. Oh! Sorry. Well, there's... We've got cola. And what's that? What's that? Nothing. <sighs> Alright. Another one of those weird mushrooms. There's no more ghouls, right? <sighs> Just me, the one ghoul. Huh? Locks really strong. Damn it! All right. That's it. A green dress. Don't know if I have a green dress already. Can we... Not sure if this is worth a perk. You know what? I don't think so. It's fine. No one else. There! Very few bodies. I think, though, it's not that... There were only a few passengers. Something tells me that the bodies were probably... taken somewhere. Oh, I don't want... No. Uh. 
not yet hungry enough to eat that. Alright, I'll take the rounds. I'll take that, actually. It'd be nice to use a shotgun that fires more than two rounds. Uh oh. Why is there rats? Was this plane carrying radioactive material? Yes. Crazy. Oh. I'll give that to Cogsworth. I think it'll look great out here. <laughs> oh. Damn. No way I can pick this. Really? We have to get back here somehow. Maybe there's a key or a combination here somewhere for that. Huh. Taking those. Whoa! Alright, that... That is worth all the trouble that we've gone through so far. You only need... Yeah, you know what. Oh! You know what? We have ran right away. We have ran right away. Don't sweat it. It's fine. Maybe the pilots had the combination or the key. Thank you very much. Those things are like gold. Beats rad roach meat, at the very least. This plane is loaded with drugs. Was it some sort of drug dealer plane? There we go. All right. Hmm. for a laser rifle or a laser gun. Right. Oh. No. Huh. Good thing these suitcases don't have upgraded locks. Nice. What? Let put those be there. And yes, I have enough bowler hats. All right. Here it is. Let's take a listen. That's it. Not really worth a listen. Hearing the last moments of some pilot. Uh, 
Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. The sanctuary should be not too far away. Still haven't gotten used to navigating. Ten Pines Bluff is over there. Mass Fusion. Not sure what that is. And we're actually off course. <laughs> you know what? Really we are pretty bad. Getting lost. Shit. You know what? I don't want to deal with creepy robots. Just try to get back home where it's safe. At least I think it's safe. No, I've... Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry, Pooch. Oh! Good thing we have a ton of bullets for this gun. What? Shit. Someone actually owned this dog. I'm sorry if I... These are someone's dogs. Um... Who are you? That is a mannequin. Huh. Whoa, uh oh. First Whoa. mistake. Shit. I look like a soldier. Did I kill a... No. Normal soldier wouldn't just... Well, to be fair, we did shoot first. <laughs> I like that. Oh, he was a... He was a raider. Whew. Very well armed raider. All right. Got it. Nice. Huh. Using these dummies to make it look like he's got some backup. I hate these things. Creepy. You know what? Let's um, let's have a bit more. All right. Ah. All right. Ooh. Hate these things. All right. That's whatever you are. 
Very weird turret. Whoa! Alright, I see you. We have a lot of rounds for this nice little toy. All right. Now, we should. Oh, really? We should go that way to get back to Sanctuary. Uh, come on. Try not to get into any more trouble. Come on. You can do it, girl. You took on a whole factory full of ghouls and psycho gangsters. You can get home. Right? Shit. need trouble. Just need to get home. Regroup. Rearm. Alright. Let's stick to the high ground. I do not want to get caught out in the open at night. As I was saying, if that psycho Jared thought that Mama Murphy was legit, somehow able to tell the future, maybe she's right about Sean. Maybe he's in Diamond City, this largest settlement. I mean, a baby's been stolen, where else would they take him? I mean, don't want to think about it, but if you're going to sell a baby, probably there. <sighs> it's a fragment of a piece of a shred of hope, but it's enough. We have to make our way to Diamond City somehow. I've never traveled that far. Might take a bit of planning. Alright, where are we? Alright. Follow this. That's Curvega. Why are we headed towards Curvega? Alright, um... There. We go straight ahead. It'll take us home. God damn, I hate being bad with directions. As I said, I don't want to get caught out in the open at night. Sure, we can handle pretty much anything. We're like armed to the teeth. Fairly sure we can handle anything. But I could be wrong. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the drive through. I think we could probably 
stay safe at the drive-thru if need be. Maybe we can even make it sort of a movie night. <laughs> Oh shit! That's a rad storm. All right. Shit. Shit. All right. All right. Um, we have to find shelter. Find shelter. Have to get the shelter. What's that? Is that a shack? Can we get some shelter? Hello? 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 Can we stay here? This is crazy. We've got a bit of rad protection, but not a lot. Don't have our riot armor anymore. You can handle this. You can handle this. Just pace yourself. Pace yourself. You can do this. Calm down. Rads are not gonna kill you. Panicking will. We have meds. Remember a bridge? All right, if we take the bridge, it'll. All right, if we take the bridge, it'll take us to a to the road that will lead us to the Drumlin Diner. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Hello. Oh. Ow. You know what? I don't have time for you. Ow. Faster. All right. You want some of me? Here. Should have reaped the whirlwind. It's a weird thing to say in the middle of a storm. Well, the storm's over. All right. Somehow, I actually feel calmer. <laughs> Careful. Drummond Diner shouldn't be too far away. If 
everything just seems so different at night. I've tried to travel just during the day. Calm down, Nora. Calm down. There's the old church. You've been there. It's, it's conquered. Oh, shit! Oh. oh. It's the trash lady. Oh. Um. Huh? What was your name again? Uh. Carla. Um. Ashcan Carla. Hey, Carla. Need to pick something up? It's pretty long from here. Why, why not? Let's see what you have. You break it, you buy it. I know. All right, um, well, we already have a carbine already. You know what, this is that, whoa, it uses 5.56. Let's keep that. Hmm. Don't think I have anything to sell. Huh. Um. I'll sell these. I actually don't want to mess with drugs I don't really know about. Especially that weird stuff. Yeah, that's it. All right. I think we can actually get some shelter in the old museum, but uh, probably not. The red rocket isn't that far away. We can actually hole up there. I'd rather be in Sanctuary because it's Sanctuary. <laughs> Alright, I think we're fine. Damn, this was a long walk. Just goes to show you can't... You can't let your guard down in this place in this time. This place is dangerous. So what else is new? Yeah. I want to sleep in my own bed. Well, the nicer bed. And if one of the longs is sleeping in my bed, I'm going to... Th I'm going to throw them off. Like everything's fine. Where's Preston? He's usually patrolling. Lazy bum. <laughs> All right. I'll tell him about Ten Pines Bluff in the morning. Ah, oh, turret's still there. All right. Hey, Sturgis. Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat, though. Well, I'm sure he will. Especially after what I'm going to tell him. But that's got to wait for tomorrow. Oh, thank God, no one's here. No one's here. You're listening to 
feel good as new just a bit sick you know what let's use up a little right away I think we have a lot Let's put away stuff that I'm not going to use right away. Mm, I put that away. Put that away. That away. All right. Greaser jacket. Hmm, well, let's put that away first. Is this actually better than what we have? No, we're fine. We're fine with what we have, actually. Left leg. What's our left leg? We don't have anything on our left leg. All right, put that away. Flight helmet. Is it better than our arm? No, it's not. I think it looks cool though. Nah. Nah. All right. Morning, Carla. Fancy meeting you here. There's Preston. All right. Preston. Need something? Yes, actually. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. Hmm. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. Huh. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended and conquered? Hmm. I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen 
but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Huh. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Hmm. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Hmm. You know what? I've got nothing better to do. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. A pack of ghouls has holed up near a settlement. They could use our help. Ghouls. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So see what you can do to help. Hey. If this is part of the Minutemen, I think you're gonna have to come with me this time. And if I'm the general, and you're the one who actually assigned me, um, what does that make you? General of the Minutemen. I kind of like the sound of that. Well. Let's see if we can make an army to match.